Real quick, I'd like to give a massive shout out to all the homies on Patreon who chose to support the cult and help keep the lights on. If you want more information on how to support the channel and get your name up here at these fucking chads, check out the video description below. All right. Hi. I was going to just start stream, but you know what? I said, I'm just going to go ahead and do the Ilden one now too. Why we wait? So, hey, we'll just do Ilden. Hey, so Ilden, guys. There's nothing really strat wise you guys need to worry about here besides if you are warlock tanking which you should already know if you're warlock tanking your parse is going to be kind of sus and uh it's obviously going to be i don't obviously if you're warlock tanking you're going to be a little bit lower than uh you would be if you weren't warlock tanking other than that this is just five phases of you standing there and blasting guys so let's just jump right into it yeah all right guys so i guess basically the first thing we can talk about is trinkets i use double on use for this the reason is quags which you can get good value out of quags here but there's just a lot of times when quags can pop off something stupid you can get a parasite and run it uh, I mean, you can, you can get it popped in between phases. It's small and minute, but you really can. And uh, I just use, like using double on use here. I think it's the best. If you have hex, icon, skull, icon, skull, hex, yada, 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 brewmaster, anything else. Uh, I use Destro potions, phase one and phase two, or phase one. And then I use mana potions for phase three. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to talk about your opener. Your opener, I doom. Okay. The reason I doom right away is because, first off, if you're Curse of Wrecking or Curse of Elements, then you doom at 67 percent somewhere in there 65 66 67 percent so you can get off it doesn't matter cancel your curse put it up free damage now if you are the doom lock you have a couple options here okay i doom right i doom that shit up and then after that i'll agony when he goes into the air or if i don't have enough time which i don't think i do anymore so i just let this doom go off and then phase two i'll put a doom up on an ad it was shocked to me last night literally last night that the uh, i think that it would be better no, i think it was brought to my attention so now i think after they told me of course I think it would actually be better to Agony first. I think it'd be better to Agony, maybe a Shadow Bolt or two, and then put a Skull up. I mean, and then put a Doom up. This allows you to get more damage in there, but also with one Agony instead of two, allows you to get that first Agony off and the Doom, but being able to go into Phase 2 and be able to Doom that back add, which is very important. If you didn't miss it, by the way, just before we get in Phase 2, if you didn't miss it, you don't do shit in Phase 1. You just spam Shadow Bolts and hope that you crit. If you get Parasites, move away run back you can turn in a shadow burn them if you want just to help but the majors should handle it so it's not that big that big of a deal phase two is where you can get it. phase one nothing everything's out of your control it's just crit phase two it gets a little more fun not that much though the first thing i like to do is pick one one if you're curse of eric or curse of agony you're kind of stuck just cursing double cursing you can be cheeky and just like do your curse on the main target and then maybe do the off target if you want but that's up to you and your guild don't be don't, don't do anything stupid i will agony main target and then i doom the off target and then i fought full go on this first target okay Right, this whole time I'm looking, I'm watching my threat. I'm watching my threat. I'm staring at my threat. Is that 31%? Is that 34%? I'm looking here. The reason is if I get too many crits in a row and I start getting to 60, 70, I'm going to just switch targets to this guy. I've seen too many warlocks pump too hard on this ad and then they just put their, their, their thumb in their ass because they're, they're scared of pulling threat. Don't be scared of pulling threat and just switch targets. Right now you see I'm getting high. I mean, I, I, stay, I think I switched targets early here. I could have stayed in even longer, right? And another thing I would like to say is you see how I'm switching early? Let them finish that melee is already on this ad i usually actually switch even earlier than that melee is already on this ad let the melee kill this ad off also just make sure that you are not casting you see my that one off at seven percent imagine i'm casting another one you don't want that shadow bolt going off and getting sent to the air right when this ad dies and you just wasted a shadow bolt cast because the shadow bolt didn't even land know that ahead of time and switch targets you're not gonna be able to doom or curse of wreck i mean you're not gonna be able to doom or at, um this back ad if you're curse of wreck or elements bot because doom's still going just know that but you can agony it so you can back agony two times off of it yeah just pump that's all you can do that's what i do for phase two to get a little cheeky cheek you can do it either one once again before this gets out of the phase you curse up your main target with whatever your your main curse is and then you back curse if you're dooming you doom if you're curse of wreck or elements you put an agony up and then you put your curse up when you guys switch targets okay this is the end of the phase so you'll get over here the next phase is going to be depend on your guild i know that uh i think you know 80 80 something percent of guilds are not are not using a warlock tank for this reason uh because you don't need one that's the reason there's no reason you guys just save all your lusts and blow it right here when he comes up um all you're going to see us do this is where it just gets boring again because you know warlock yay is spam shadow bolts there's nothing that you can do i'm putting up a curse i'm popping my cooldowns and we're trying to kill the boss you know we're trying to face the boss so we're popping my cooldowns and i'm blasting now the only thing i can say if you, if you are warlock tanking well then get into your position a warlock tank you you've been doing it great right i can't really help you parse on that because it's just hoping that you get a little more even more crits on them you're wearing you know what i mean you know what i mean dude like at this point i don't think there should be any warlocks tanking this but hey to each their own you know some people i guess probably don't i don't know it's a dps check it's not that big of a dps check so if you're in, if you're listening to this and you're in a guild who's not who is still if you're listening to this and you're a warlock tank going 
fuck why am i warlock tanking uh and you've never tried it i would say just try it one time if it's a wipe fuck it let them didn't wipe but i would say just try it because it's something that you know large majority of people were doing and i think it's worth it um other than that you're standing here and you're blasting bro i mean there's nothing else i can really say here i wish there was um i know i get memed on for saying shit's easy but i mean you kind of just got crit double lust um af boomy ellie typical stuff that you need to parse you need plus some crit you know be careful right here though when you're pulling aggro because you can pull aggro see that doom went off i'm scared right now i'm terrified in game because that doom just went off and sometimes it can get janky and pull but i'll be honest with you and tell you that i don't know the 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 i don't know the finesse on that or why it gets janky and pull i'm sure somebody in the comments would know um yeah that's all i got for you guys they bought me just to be out of safety i looked like the threat was fine i thought it was a little crazier than it was it's juicy and we're blasting and we just clean it up finish it okay um I fucking love you guys. I hope you guys are doing great. This was the end of T6. Next, I'm not going to make a ZA parsing guide. I'm going to make an Archimon parsing guide, and that's it. Just Archimon. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys. Well, I'll see you guys sooner. But if you only watch the parsing guides, I'll see you in Sunwell. I'll have these a lot sooner the next raid tier as well for you guys. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything that I can do to make this even better. Please anything that makes it better besides slow down like I know I talk fast these aren't scripted they're not supposed to be these are just parsing tips or tips to help you do more damage even though there's not that many tips on this boss okay we know warlock is a meme just be glad to be a part of that meme okay peace